A man who witnessed the horrific crash that killed three people in Lewiston earlier this week is speaking out. He says he was a couple hundred feet behind one of the cars when it happened right before his eyes. News Center Maine's Rosalind Flaherty spoke to him by phone and here's what he had to say. I just couldn't believe what I was seeing. Scott Belongi says he was driving along Lisbon Street in Lewiston Wednesday when the crash that killed three people happened right in front of him. I just see two cars explode. You know, I, I never saw the other car coming. Both cars just were, were wrecked. I mean, it was debris flying everywhere and the SUV went up on its side. He says he quickly pulled over and called 911. I got up to the Prius and, um, you know, I was kind of freaking out, of course. Pretty upset because I could tell that there was at least one person in the driver's seat that was dead. He says he then ran over to the other car involved. We could tell this person was still alive. Lewiston police say 68-year-old Paul D'Alessandro of Brunswick was driving the Toyota Prius inbound on Lisbon Street. His wife, 68-year-old Judith Montgomery, was in the passenger seat. Their dog was also in the car. They all died at the scene. Staying all amongst this debris and after a while, I, you know, I just started to pray, pray for the people that were in the, in the Prius. Police say 34-year-old John McBean Jr. of Connecticut and New Hampshire was driving the other car outbound when the head-on crash happened. He later died at the hospital. I just really feel bad for um, those people. I really do. It just broke my heart. It broke my heart. Standing there. Police say there are indications McBean was trying to pass a vehicle by using the center lane used for turning traffic and veered into the oncoming lane, hitting the couple's car. It happens so fast. Belongi says it's been a difficult few days and says he will continue to think about the victims and their families. Rosalind Flaherty, New Center, Maine. Just tragic. Now we're learning more about some of the victims, including the couple. They spent many hours volunteering at various organizations here in Maine. Mary Meeting Cleaners says they were an inspirational couple that seemed to have a joint mission in life to serve those in need. Midcoast Hunger Prevention Program said on Facebook their joy for life and service was always obvious and their smiles were contagious.